Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how some of the date functions work in Calc. At the top of the screen, I've got some dates. You can see them there. And then these are the functions I'm going to go through and you can see the results there. And this is just a list of what's going to happen. So if I just replicate this list over here, the first one's fairly straightforward. What is the year in that date cell? So it's basically the year function equals year, open the bracket and then select the cell that's got a date in it and just tick that and it should come back with 2022. And then the month function equals month, open the bracket, click on the same date, click the tick, comes back with the 10th. And then the day function equals day, what day of the, of the month is that? It's the third. All that is the same. 3rd, 10th, 2022. Now days, the days function is the days between two days. So if you click into that, so it's between E2 and D2 that I'm going to do this on. So the function itself is days with an S. So it's going to be equals days, open the bracket, and then between the end date, comma, and the start date, tick. That says there's 30 days between those. Next one is end of month. So the date of the last day of the month, one month after the selected date. So EO month, that's the function. Open the bracket on that. Select the date. And then comma and one month after tick now that's come back as a number so I need to format that to a date that's one month after so e2 I selected e2 in this example and d2 in that example so that's that's correct that's one month after that now that is this one is a minus number if you put a minus number in there so I've got d2 selected so if I put minus one in there that goes the other way and it's gone into September so that's the e month function the network days number of days between two dates except the weekends so that one's going to be if you click into that one it's between d2 and e2 so function is equals net work days it's quite a common functions between that date and that date there are 23s and then this option gives the option with holidays so you've got holiday options there so it's the same function d2 and e2 but then you're selecting f2 and g2 these two holiday dates so it's equals net work days open the bracket between that date comma and that date comma and then these two dates being the holidays it says there look got a list of dates there the selection option option at the end there tick that comes with 21 because there's a two-day holiday there week number of the year so that's just a week number of that let's go for that one so equals week number of that I'll just tick that and see what that comes back with so it's 41 so I didn't actually need the number one in there weekday day of the week that's a weekday function equals weekday see what that comes back with day two so Monday Sunday being day one now this date diff function is a legacy from Lotus one two three and it's uh, a function that just looks at that. So it's different. It's similar to days. Equals date diff. And then you're selecting the days between two dates. Between that date, comma, and that date. And they want it in a, in a format. And I want it in days. So I've got to put that a little D in quotes. And then tick that. And it comes up with an error message. So I've done a typo there. 
D2 and E2, did that the wrong way around, so D2 and E2, didn't like that. So just delete all that off, do that again, open the bracket, start date first, and then that date, and then comma in days, close the bracket. 30 days, and if I put an M in there, that would be months. If we can get in there. So there's no months between the two, but if I change that to the um, to 60, one month. Okay, so that's just a quick look at some date functions and how they work and what result you should get. Hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.